on my lunch break without my wife. We said we were gonna do this together. Uh, I think she'll be fine with it. What might end up happening is I'm gonna to have to run again when she gets home tonight. I'm gonna to have to do that. Weird pain in my glutes. I got numb glute on the left side. It's the same side as, uh, it's the same side as my bad knee. And I'm wondering if, I'm wondering if that is all related. Anyway, warming down, making my way back to the flat now. Yesterday I did run one of week three involved a repetition of the following jog for 90 seconds walk for 90 seconds jog for three minutes walk for three minutes i had to do that essentially twice i am hurting today it feels good it's a dull ache like all the muscles are working away any annoying thing is my right knee kind of the same sort of pain i had in my left knee last week pretty frustrating all I, all in all it feels good in between these runs i need to kind of I, don't, I need to not take getting the three runs per week so seriously. I think I need to focus on getting those in, but also working on other kind of strength training, also drills for techniques. Oh, today's a no running today. I'm going to take it easy. I'm working from home. ready to run so this is day two of week three uh, I actually ran twice on Tuesday today's Thursday I ran twice because I went for a run uh, during my lunch break I've been working from home all week and then when my wife got home I also ran with her I ran with her because I want to be supportive and it's always nice to have someone to run with also I thought okay it counts as a bonus run so it didn't that run didn't actually count towards the three that I need to do this week, so it's a bonus run. Um, that is why I was so tired yesterday. It really took it out of me. Um, I needed I needed that rest day for sure. Again, I was working from home. Uh, didn't really get out of the house much. The evening came around. I felt good. I kind of felt, yeah, I could go for a run. I would like to go for a run. I missed going for a run. Um, never thought I'd be saying that. And I'm only three weeks into this, and I haven't really done proper runs. I've only just started this week doing three minute runs. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying it and it's going well. Another lunchtime run, so I might have to run again this evening with my wife. Just a gentle jog, I'm sure. Ready to run. Great run, but this app, week three, day two, I hope you can see it right there. Distance zero, just not logged at all. I saw it all the way through, did all the runs, and then it just decided, no, I'm not gonna track any of that. I rely on this and set my goals so I can work out how far I've got, and it's not doing its job. I have paid for this app. Okay, working from the office today, so got to pack my bag. Feeling good today, run was great. <coughs> my wife went for a run this morning, I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't get to go for a run. Um, I would have if I'd been working from, working from home today. Overall feeling good, I've calmed down about the app. There's been a lot of support from the people that are watching my videos, 
saying things like, you know, I can give you advice on strength building exercises, also stuff like nutrition, which is exactly what I wanted out of this. I think one of the things I'd really like to find is people that can run a 30 minute 5k in the next couple of weeks and then start trading them, start running behind them and see if I can keep up, uh, see how far behind I am and actually like have a benchmark to see my progress. Um, yeah, so I've calmed down, calmed down a lot about the app now as well. Um, it is incredibly frustrating when you're putting so much into this that these things fail. Uh, it's probably my ET fingers touching the screen or something while I'm running. <laughs> Thank you.